some thoughts in the early morning. All these empty conversations that we sometimes have to listen to from our fellow human beings. So often it seems to drown us in an ocean of empty words and meanings. I wonder why they often make me so damn tired. Maybe because all of them are based only on a picture of an imaginary self that was never really true or real. Including all these emotions that we experience in us and others. And yet still we try to be social or empathetic. But it is so hard sometimes to feel this yawning emptiness behind it all. It is like a vacuum that mercilessly sucks our true presence. Yes, it is often so difficult to remain aware of our true present self on this weird spiritual path of this identification in a world that is almost 100% based on identifications into which we are still pounding again and again like in a thought disgusting mud from all these old atrocities of our terrible human story Instead of finally taking off and becoming more and more aware that we are the creator of our reality, it has always been the case that the temporal and material dimension is either a prison or a paradise. And right now, these different frequency patterns are becoming more and more visible for everyone. Many have already made their choice because we decide for ourselves whether we want to feel in prison or in paradise. It has always been like that. And that we have not yet been able to shape our world the way as we can dream it in our deepest heart. If we created all these strange problems ourselves? What if our partner will get the way we tempt to see him? What if our neighbor will act exactly the way we might fear it? Our world gets as crazy and corrupt because we have let it go so far. We always experience the inside of us 
in our outside world. And it seems to me, especially now, in our strange modern times, that we should think everything and think carefully about what we really want to live and how we really want to be with each other. Do we want to live in a whole scenario or rather live in our most beautiful dreams? We are creatures of love. The only place we can really truly make a difference is at the level of cause. We're so often not in full contact with who we are. We are out of touch with the eternal nature of our being. Disconnected to the love that is the essence of who we are, the essence of every being and every life on this planet. Trying to fix this world often doesn't fix the root cause. Centering in the reality of our true eternal selves, our true identification is the solution to so many problems we face in the world. Every sickness, every scenario we are dealing with. As we see beyond our limited sensory perceptions, nothing becomes scary anymore. Whatever is unfolding in the world is simply an outpouring of true identification or limited misidentification. It's always our choice. We can always come back to the place of peace within and extend peace into the world. Since we obviously continue to accept extinction through our impact on this planet, this means in the end that we also accept our own extinction as humans. This does not rule out, or perhaps inevitably leads to, that one day there could be survivors, at least for a period of time. Maybe when we as humans have become something rare again, this will make our fellow human beings something very special again. Only when our civilization has become to a standstill, the connections to our fellow human beings will become more important, more curious and more exciting again. Because if we want to survive, we have to create a network of people around us who will help us to cope with all these difficulties. Everything becomes much easier when we connect with those around us who give us strength and hope.
We should start today to live peacefully and lovingly together so that it becomes calm in us again. There we can feel everything around us. Perceive the deep connections with the whole. Then we can feel the mountains. Perceive the plants. Feel the sky. Absorb the sun. See the beauty in everything. And let this love shine in our hearts towards everything.